Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given string is a pangram. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2025 practical paper. So first of all, we have to write a program to accept a sentence, which may be terminated by either full stop, question mark, or exclamation mark only. The words may be separated by a single blank space and should be case sensitive. Next, we need to perform the following tasks. Firstly, determine if the accepted sentence is a pangram or not. A pangram is a sentence that contains every letter of the alphabet at least once. Example, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And secondly, display the first occurring longest and shortest word in the accepted sentence. So we can test our program for the following data and some random data. Here are some examples given. This is the second example. The third example. And the fourth one where the sentence is not terminating with a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark. And that's why it displays an invalid input message. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So I've created a file pangram.java over here. Let's start with the import statement. Then we create a class pangram. Then the main function. And inside main, we can create the scanner object. And now we can ask the user to enter the sentence. So I'm taking it in a variable s. Now, if the length of the string is zero, then also it can be considered as an invalid string. So I can write if s dot length is equal to zero, I can print invalid input. So this is one possibility. And then I can return from main to exit the program. We also need to check the last character, whether the string is terminating with the given characters or not. So uh, I can write char last equals s dot caret s dot length minus one. This is how we are extracting the last character. And if it is not present in this string. So in my string, I'm keeping full stop, question mark, exclamation mark. So dot index of last. Now, if this is coming to minus one, that means in the last character, I don't have one of these characters. And that's why, again, I have to print invalid input. and then return. Otherwise, we can proceed further. And next, we can create two variables, string shortest equals new string. And here I can put the uh, string itself, the sentence itself. So this is how I'm initializing shortest and I'm also initializing longest. Longest will be an empty string initially. Later, I will be calculating the longest word and the shortest word from the string. Right now, I have just initialized them with these values. And then I will also take a Boolean variable. So Boolean is pangram. 
equals true. So I'm assuming that the given string is a pangram string and the assumption can be wrong also, which we will find out later. Now I will run a loop from A to Z because I have to check each and every alphabet in the given string. So I will take one more Boolean variable match equals to false. So till now we have not found a match for the given character. So inside this loop we will be finding out. So we will run a loop now, an inner loop i equals to 0, i less than s dot length i plus plus. Now inside this loop, if the current character present in ch is uh, same as character dot to lowercase of s dot carat i, the ith character. In that case, match will change to true. That means a match has been found. That character is present in the string. And then we can break out of the inner loop. But in case after coming out from the inner loop, I find that the match is not found. Any character in the range A to Z is not present in the given string. In that case, I will change the Boolean variable is pangram to false. And then I will break out of the outer loop also. And outside the outer loop, I will check the Boolean variable is pangram. And if the value is true, then I will print that it is a pangram. Else, I will print it is not a pangram. Next, we will take a variable called word equals new string, means it will be empty initially. And now we will be writing the code to find out the longest word and the shortest word in our string. So now what we will do, we will run a loop for i equals zero, i less than s dot length, I plus plus. And here I will be extracting the individual characters. So s dot carat i. Now in case this character is an alphabet or a digit, I'm going to consider it as part of the word. So I will write if character dot is letter or digit. In that case, this character is going to be added to the word, concatenated to the word. So word plus equals to ch. Else, now if it is not a character or not a letter, I should say, if it's not a letter or a digit, in that case, it can be a full stop. It can be a blank space. It can be a question mark. It can be an exclamation mark. That means a word has completed. We have found one word. Now we have to check that word, whether it is the longest word or, or the shortest word. So here, if the word that has been found just now, if its length is greater than longest dot length. So in that case, I will write longest equals to what? 
similarly if word dot length happens to be less than shortest dot length that means i have found a new shorter word in that case this variable will also update itself and once i've done that i must reset the word to a blank string so that a new word can be formed once this is complete now outside the loop i am ready to print the longest word and the shortest word so i can give a message longest and shortest word shortest and our program is complete let's check the output java pangram.java so enter the sentence so if i write this string the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and i press enter so you can see that it is printing it is a pangram and the longest word here is quick and the shortest word is the so we are finding the first occurrence of the longest word and the shortest word in the given string and if i write another message or another string hello my world it is not a pangram hello is the longest word and shortest word is my and if i give any invalid input let's say alas it failed and i terminate it with a hash sign then it will display invalid input so that's all in this class i hope you have understood how to write the pangram program in java thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class